Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install Windows 11 24H2 on an unsupported or incompatible computer, a computer that doesn't have TPM 2.0 or secure boot on the motherboard or other requirements that Windows 11 24H2 requires. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two different methods that you can use. And one thing that I have to state from the beginning is that if you want to install Windows 11 24H2 on a incompatible computer, you're going to need to do a clean install. Basically, doing an upgrade or update or use the installation assistant is pretty much impossible because Windows 11 will automatically detect that your computer is incompatible. So you won't be able to do that, but doing a clean install, it will make that possible. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 24H2 tips and tricks, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, in this video, we're going to use a tool called Rufus. Basically, Rufus will allow you to create a bootable USB drive and allow you to bypass all of those Windows 11 24H2 system requirements. You can get Rufus from the article below in the video description if you're interested and after that you can just open it it is basically a portable app first of all we're gonna have to insert a USB drive it has to be at least a gigabyte so that you can write the Windows 11 24H2 ISO then of course you're gonna need the official Windows 11 24H2 ISO if you don't know how to get it of course you're gonna have linked below in the description a video that I've done in which I showed you how to get the Windows 11 official 24H2 ISO from the official Microsoft website so you can just get it from there and I'm gonna select it from my desktop and here you can leave everything as is standard windows installation gpt ufi you can also change the volume label for example windows 11 24h2 then you can leave it as fat 32 cluster size and you can also go and see advanced options if you want but it's not necessary then you can click on start and after you click on start you're going to see that windows user experience will pop up and you can select to remove requirement for 4 4 gigabytes plus ram secure boot and tpm 2.0 remove requirement for an online microsoft account you can also automatically create a local account with the username of your choice, set regional options to the same values as this user's, disable data collection, and also disable BitLocker or automatic device encryption. This is something that is also pretty useful. But if you're interested in installing Windows 11 24H2 on a unsupported computer, basically the first option is what you're looking for. You can just leave that enabled, click on OK, and of course pay attention that the USB device will be completely formatted once you click on Yes, and you're going to create the bootable USB device. And of course after the bootable USB drive is created, you can continue and boot it up on your system install it as you would normally install Windows 11. If you don't know how to use or how the Windows 11 24 installation process is, of course I have a dedicated video about that, so you can check it out if you want about the full Windows 11 24 H2 installation, and there I mention all the changes and what you need to look for inside the installation process. So basically, this is the easiest method to install Windows 11 24 H2 on a unsupported computer, creating a USB drive that bypasses the checks that Microsoft does about the minimum RAM requirements, TPM 2.0, and also secure boot. Now, as a second method, you can also bypass certain checks directly from the Windows 11 setup or installation. So in this case, you're only going to be able to bypass the TPM 2.0 and the secure boot checks. Normally, when you install Windows 11, let's say you created the bootable USB drive using the official Windows 11 assistant, the media creation tool, and then we click on next. We select the input. Of course, I agree. Next, I don't have a product key. Select Windows 11 Pro, click on next. We're going to be hit with the following message. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. Of course, what you can do in this case is you can click on close and restart the Windows 11 setup or installation. Then once you get on the first screen, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard. In the CMD, type in reject it, press enter, then locate and expand HK local machine, expand system, and then setup. Right click on setup, click on new and key, name the key lab config with capital L and C, double click on lab config, and then in an empty space, new and then the word 32-bit value, name this value bypass secure but check with B S D and C as capital letters and also new DR32 bit value bypass TPM check again with B T P M and C with capital letters. We're also going to have more info in the article below if you want to just get it from there. Double click on each value, set the value data to 1, press enter and also add the second one and make sure the value data is set to 1 on both of them. You can now exit out from the registry editor and also from the CMD and follow the Windows 11 installation and you're going to notice that right now you're going to be able to install Windows 11 on your computer. 
computer. As I've said, this only bypasses the TPM and CQ input checks. If you have a lower number than four gigabytes of RAM, you won't be able to install it using this method. If you ask me, I would recommend to use the first method that I've showed you if you're interested in installing Windows 11 on a lower end computer. And of course, if you have a good computer, you can use the second method because it's just directly from the Windows 11 setup. Of course, Windows 11 cannot be installed on my drive because it only has 20 gigabytes. Of course, it's also a requirement in Windows 10 and other operating systems as well. You need to have maybe at least a 40, 50, 60 gigabytes partition to install it on. So this is the video for today. I hope you liked it. I showed you two different methods and two easy methods that you can use to install Windows 11 on an incompatible computer. Make sure to also check out the article below if you want to learn more about these options. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.